Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I will talk how you can use VM Mix in order to control your LED Strip Studio software. Traditionally, you would use DM Max in order to change the effects or trigger the effects that are already stored on an SD card in your device. However, some projects might require both. That is, you have running software and you can still use keyboard and mouse to, for example, change the effects, but you also want to use your favorite DMX console. In this tutorial, we are working with the newest version of the software and also we've got the newest version of firmware in our device. So those of you who are not on the newest versions, I strongly recommend that you do so. And what we will cover in this video, I will show you how to use uh, the MX console, that is the hardware solution, in order to change various aspects of animations running in the software. Also, since a lot of you are actually working with software-based solution. I've got this nameless uh, VMX to USB converter and I will also show you how to set it up. Also what I will cover are special commands. Those are commands that can, for example, trigger a specific effect once a specific VMX channel and value is called. We can start this tutorial with a very important note. In order to use the function VMX control of your software, you need to use LED Ethernet Controller 3. That is the red box. SPI Matrix, Reactivo, or even VMX, uh, or even Xmas Dimmer won't work. You might know that there are different versions of the controller. You don't have to worry because each pixel version will work. In order for this function to work properly, you need to be able to send the VMX data from, for example, your console into your controller. For that, you can use preferably a VMX cable. I will show you the web config of the device. Notice that there will be a change in the status bar once I will plug this in. You can see the icon appeared that the DMX in is connected. So you can tell that the DMX data is actually flowing into the device. You can also tell by a yellow diode flashing rapidly. The sample LED strip that I have here on the table has 300 pixels in it and I have done the mapping properly in the software. If I will change the effect here in the software, you can see that I am also changing the effect on the LED strip. If I would like to use live control values, which are over here, you can see on the strip that I am, for example, increasing the brightness or that I am changing the speed of the animation. These live controllers are actually values that you will be controlling with your VMX signal source. How to actually use the function? You will go in the software in settings section to controls and you will find VMX in. In order to use it, you will tick use VMX. There are two main settings that you have to set up. The DMX address means the starting DMX channel that you will be using. The use Ethernet. If you will have multiple controllers on the network, you will see all of them in here. You have to select the one that you are actually connected with your DMX console or software to. So I have only one here and this is its IP address. These DMX channels uh, represent the default uh, values that you can change. So the first DMX channel will control the brightness of the effect. You can check in the live controls and also on the console that once I will move the first slider, which is first channel, I will change the brightness. Notice also the live controls here. Brightness goes down. Also the slider in live control goes down. And with the third channel, I am controlling the speed of the animation. So I can go pretty fast and I can stop the effect. So these are the default uh, channels that you can use to control different uh, aspects of the animations. There are also special commands with which you can, for example, trigger a specific animation. In the software, those special commands you can set up here. And you can see that I have already some pre-made. For example, this first special command will use seventh channel. 
once the value on that seventh channel is set to 255, it will trigger an effect from the first bank. And the effect that it will trigger will be the first scene. We can test it out. If we will change the view, it was the seventh channel that I have to use. And you can see on the LED strip that I actually called the first animation with this special command. What other options you might have with the special commands? Uh, as uh, I have shown you, you can select a specific animation, but there are more that you can actually do. We can check the, the image address that we are not actually using. So that's the fourth. I mean, we are not using the default channel to color the effect red. So I can use this DMX channel and I can decide whether you have to set a specific uh, value of that channel or whether it uh, only needs to be higher or below a specific value in order to trigger, for example, a sound from your PC or it can trigger a specific program. It can play a demo mode or as mentioned, you can select a specific scene. So you will select scene and with the fourth channel from the first bank, I want to trigger animation number three. Very similar to your DMX console, you can use any kind of software that can work with DMX to control LED strip studio software. In order to utilize the feature, you need a couple of things. First is a USB to DMX uh, converter. Second is any kind of software uh, that can actually send out the DMX data. There are plenty online that you can find and use. The one that we are using is called um, DMX Control and it's um, pretty well done. First thing that you have to do, obviously you have to put in the DMX signal source. Once I will unplug this, the yellow LED stopped blinking. But once I will plug the DMX uh, USB interface in, the diode is blinking again. Similar to the DMX console, I have set up several channels in the software that are controlling various uh, values and various functions of the software. For example, on the first channel, I have set that it will control the brightness. You can see that also in the live controls and also on the LED strip. With the second channel, I am actually selecting which animation to play. So I can choose animation number three. And with the third channel, I am controlling the speed of the animation. And that is it, how you can set up a DMX software in order to control LED strip studio software.